Hello, this is Blakey Rat. And Rantis. And welcome to Robots in the News. Today we're playing uh, Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. The Xbox sequel to... This is actually the third or fourth in the Earth Defense Force series, but only two have been released in the U.S. The last one was uh, Earth Defense Force... Uh, was it 2017? Yeah, 2017, I yes, think. Yes, also an Xbox game. Um, a hilariously quirky and buggy Xbox game. And uh, this is the sequel. It was actually uh, developed by, I believe, an American studio. Yeah, D3 Publishing, I think, is the people who uh, brought it to the U.S. Yeah, it's basically the same concept as the original game, except for the uh, the graphics are much, much, much improved. The physics are improved. But it, it kind of lacks something, and I think that something is really, really bad translation. Uh, I would agree. Anytime you make a game for the U.S., the translation by default is probably going to be significantly better. So why don't you go ahead and ready up Rantis and uh, we'll listen to the helicopter pilot here. The sequence is actually kind of funny because all you do is just fly around and shoot the bugs. Yeah, it starts you out with this nice little shooting gallery. Um, the enemies are all based on basically enemies from 50s monster movies you'll see as we go through and uh, one of the fun things about the EDF series is that there's there's literally zero penalty for property destruction in fact it's actually kind of encouraged through the mechanics of the game so you can see I'm already blowing up some townhouses here we've already blown up a gas station I believe I specifically aim at the fuel tanks because I like to watch the explosions That's what happens when you don't drink your morning coffee before piloting a giant hovering jet plane thing. So there is actually plot going on right now. I don't know if anyone really cares. It's not really the point of the series. But um, basically one of our dropships here has gotten shot down and uh, we're dropping in this park to go and see if there's any survivors. And of course there's about 800 ants here. That we have to kill. Great stuff. Hey, we're playing with old man. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't turn off bots, did I? It actually asked you if you want to use bots or not, and I think I I left it on when I said the game. So this is a great game. This is basically you've seen all of the gameplay that there is right now. <laughs> this is the entire game. Yeah, it's it's getting giant monsters and insects and shooting the crap out of them. It doesn't sound fun, but it's actually it's it's hilariously fun. Um, the only thing it lacks from the original game is the level of scale. Actually, you know, I shouldn't even say that because this game really does scale up. And, and what I what I mean by that is I mean that sometimes you'll have you'll be on a screen and there'll be literally 500 of these ants coming after you. Yeah. Also, I totally just realized I'm using a machine gun that doesn't shoot straight. Oh, yeah. I don't know if anybody in, in the video can see, but it goes straight for maybe the first 30 feet, and then it splits into two bullets. Yeah, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. And another weird thing about this series of games is that the weapons uh, are insane. Um, and again, this is one of the problems that it, this game has compared to the original EDF 2017 is that it had even more insane weapons. But yeah, the kind of weapon... Oh yeah, look at those bullets split. The the gun where the bullets split in half and go in two different directions, that's actually pretty normal by the standards of EDF games, I think. Yeah, it's that's definitely considered on the normal side. The other hilarious thing they have is later on, some of the weapons are called, like, defective dumb fire missiles, so they... Uh, supposedly are supposed to do like tracking on any non-organic life forms because these ants are supposedly silicon based ant robot things or something like that but really you you have the missiles fire and of course it seeks anything non-organic so pretty much everything other than other players on the screen including cars and buildings and whatever else the, the missiles just go around and hit everything randomly 
I can't remember is it if it's in this game or just the original, but what is the um the grenade launcher that's just extraordinarily slow? Oh, um oh, I can't I, remember that. I know name. which one you're talking about. There's there's also a missile launcher that shoot it's called the tortoise or something like that. And yes. it, the missile you can outrun the missile that it yeah, shoots. The biggest danger in using the weapon is that you will actually shoot yourself by moving faster than the missile moves. It's the craziest thing ever. Oh, wow, I just this hit myself. Awesome, with a by the way. I'm shooting like maybe 30 degrees away from the ant to hit it. Is it like heat seeking or is it just kind of moving in a random direction? Uh. No, it's not at all heat seeking. It's literally. It's like playing pool. You're like, oh, yeah, I need to bank the shot at about <laughs> 30 degrees from where I'm actually intending to hit. So I'm using a grenade launcher here, uh, blowing up that building, because that's the easiest way to kill the ants on it. Okay, so these blue chests here, uh, health, armor, I guess. Um, what is chest? I guess that's Oh, apparently I do have a seeking missile launcher. Wow. You start out... Oh, I guess you're level 2, right? Yeah, so these characters level up a bit. Uh, start out with different weapons. Yeah, I'm level 2. Although, I think you can start out with a Seeking Missile Launcher, to be honest. I don't really recall exactly. Maybe. All I got is this Grenade Launcher. This is a fresh character I started just uh, just yesterday. Yeah, I don't know if you mentioned um, the Active Reload system is kind of cool. It's similar to uh, the one that was originally used in Gears of War, where you basically you get a bar that slowly fills up and it's got a uh, leading edge to the filling side and a little white section in the middle and if you time your reload correctly it'll actually have the time you need to spend reloading is this closed or do we have to actually destroy it completely i can't remember no it it looks closed but it doesn't look destroyed Man, it's been a while since oh, I've there played. we go. Right, you can do this. I forgot. You can plant explosives. Oh, on, that's that's oh. actually what we have to do. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. So, uh, the big oh yeah. So the big holes there, you can shoot at it, and what it'll do is it'll temporarily seal them up, and then to, to get rid of them for good, you have to uh, plant uh, explosives. Yeah. The only exception to that is when you're using the ridiculous pesticide launcher thing that will pretty much wipe out everything on the entire map. Whee! It's a lot of ants. So if you look at the amount of creatures on the screen right now, this is the first and easiest level, just to keep yeah, that in mind. Yeah, this is fairly tame by comparison. And these are actually the easiest creatures too, they just basically walk towards you, that's it. My turret's really doing all the work. Oh, whoops. Yeah, hope there was nobody in that building. Uh, I'm assuming <laughs> that they just kind of assume that all these streets are evacuated, right? Uh, no, at one point during the game, they comment on people still being in, maybe not this city, but one of the other cities. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. I guess the game is supposed to be like, the whole world is getting invaded by bugs, so it's not like any particular place is safer than any other, but you know, whatever. It's a goofy video game, it's not like anyone's taking it too seriously. Exactly. And I'm gonna blow up that gas station. Okay, so we have to go to this waypoint here. That fence is in our way. No, it's not. Destructible everything. Uh, one of the oh, great so things about this game is that you can blow up buildings using uh, machine guns. Go so figure. this is one of the hilarious um, random things they mentioned in the intro sequence. So to get around having quote-unquote invisible walls, they set up some kind of backstory about how the aliens set up force fields around the cities that only they can go through and humans can't. Well, duh. I mean, isn't that what you do? Oops. Clearly, the ants are set to a different uh, matter frequency resonance so they can pass through objects that humans can't. You know, I think that sentence is more thought than the game creators put into it. Yeah, probably. The sentence. game creators are like, what excuse can we use to make it so players can't run everywhere in the city? Yeah, it looks kind of blue. It's a force field. Okay. It's Yeah, it's a force field. 
Okay, so there's another ant hill around here somewhere that we gotta blow up. Usual. Also, I kind of, I have to wonder why do so many game developers and artists like drawing uh, force fields like they have hexagonal panels in them? Um, I don't know. I I'm pretty sure because they I fit land. together nicely. I, yeah, I suppose that's true, but I mean, like, if if you're putting a bubble of some kind around it, and it's some type of energy force field, you'd think it would just be a contiguous mass of stuff rather than individual panels. I think it would have, like, uh, like cute little cartoon images on the side, because you want to entertain yeah. the guys you're trapping, right? You don't... Well, that, that's how you scare people away. You plaster Hello Kitties on the side. Yeah, they're very yeah, threatening. I mean, you don't want it to just be boring. <laughs> Sorry, kids. You want to play basketball? Yeah. I think we're almost at the end of this mission, actually. We need to destroy another ant hill and then something else. Hey, look at that. It grows right in the middle of the street right in front of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. look. This is our first uh, sort of giant monster thing. Okay, so one of the, again, one of the things I have about this game compared to the original, or not the original, but the last game, which is 2017, which is also out on Xbox 360, is that the game supposedly is based around the concept of 50s movie monsters, but this guy I'm fighting right now, he does not look like a 50s movie monster. I'm sorry. No, but they kind Way of Way too modern. They explain that away a little bit in this game. They say that half of the... Ravager army is composed of earth insects that have been modified with technology, and then the other half is just robotic things. Yeah, but that's exactly my complaint, is that robot does not look like a 50s robot. Whereas yeah. the 2017 game, they definitely look like 50s robots. They look like, if you've seen, um, uh, uh, wow. Well, clearly, that's why he's a robot in the news. Yeah. Yes. Wow, it's all coming together now. <laughs> yeah, I know. In the movie I was looking for was Sky Captain. The, the Earth Defense Force 2017, the robots looked like the robots from Sky Captain. Yeah. In fact, now I'm thinking about it. Wait, who copied who? Hmm. So, that uh, box that looked like it was a giant nuclear bomb box is actually the way you pick up new weapons in this game. So we picked up some weapon, and the name is pretty much impossible to read until you get to the um, like stat screen at the end of a level. And even then, the names are so obscure and arbitrary, you still have no idea what the heck they are until you get to the equipment menu on the next mission. Yeah, there's really no relation between what the names are and what the weapon does. Yeah. Are we done here? What's the deal? Yeah, this is the standby. end of the level. Okay, so yeah, when you see order standby, that's uh, the end of the level. And then you get to your nice little score summary screen. Whew. Then you Let's get to see, see your upgrades. Yeah, and your yeah items found. Here we go. It's a shotgun DT-23 gondolier. Wow. For your, for your class, actually. That's right. Uh, that's good for me. And uh, the funny thing is I'm actually already level 2. It only takes one round of, of normal gameplay to get to level 2. Yeah. So that was the first uh, the first mission. Indeed it was. I guess, um, okay, right into the second. Yeah, but I think it, doesn't it load into a staging screen? I actually can't remember now. We should have probably figured this out before we started recording, huh? Oh yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. I think it goes into the... It goes to our little staging screen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. So, uh, let's see okay so I can actually unlock more armors now I started from a brand new save file so I didn't have anything unlocked but I'm gonna go ahead and, and stick with the uh, stick with the armor I have I don't um, even know I haven't looked at these in so long I don't even know what they do so the description of the one that I'm using right now the Zinzebeck Hemisect or whatever it's called you know you have your basic stats and the damage is kind of confusing on some of these weapons because they split so you'll see something like one times two times 45 so that basically means it shoots one bullet that would normally do 45 damage but then the one bullet splits into two and then the two bullets each do 45 damage once it splits so I'm so confused right now yeah well that's kind of the nature of the beast with this game 
Yeah, I actually am also have uh, the BX18 Fombisco H, which has homing bullets. That's actually kind of cool. See, I got a new, so... I honestly think that's the same thing you were using. It just, Probably. the bullets just don't home very well. No, <laughs> mine don't guess. home at all. Here, I'll, I'll read you the description. It says... Secretive Zinzebek Corporation created quite a stir in the arms world with their debut of the um, experimental hemisect rifles, which feature forking shots, which means that's oh. all they do. They just split in two, and that's that's it. That's that's a little crazy. Yeah. So the next one forks into apparently four shots, which is even more ridiculous. This whole game is ridiculous. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. I think I may actually buy a gun. Cause oh my god. What? You're spending money on a gun? No. Unbelievable. It is crazy. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, so uh, join us next time. We'll be playing the next level of Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Um, and there will be giant ants, giant spiders, giant robots, and if we're lucky, some ticks.